my name is Sinead Cullen. Um, I'm working in the Biomedical Diagnostics Institute and DCU and CRAN here in Trinity College Dublin and I'm a PhD student researcher. So I love keeping fit and running. I also love going to Pilates and kettlebells and things like that but um, I also enjoy music and reading. So I started off in general science and then in third and fourth year I specialised in neuroscience and then I went on and I did my Masters in Science in the Institute of Neuroscience here in Trinity College Dublin and now I'm here. Possibly business I think, I always liked economics in school and I was good at it so maybe business. Well it's kind of difficult to provide an outline of a typical working day. Some days you can be preparing samples to do an experiment, the next day you can actually run that experiment. Um, I'm actually writing my transfer report at the moment. These days I'm actually doing a lot of reading of scientific papers and writing. Then other days I can also help out with the education and outreach. I have to learn a lot of new skills. So I work in a physics lab here. So I have to learn a lot of physics, which I find challenging. But I really like it because I love learning new things. And I also work with a lot of electronics now and hooking up electronic equipment and making B and C cables and things like that, all of which I've never done before. The skills that are important to be a PhD student, um, you have to be very determined. Um, you have to be very conscientious at your work and pay attention to detail. You also have to be very good at communication. It's one of the main things. I also think if you're good with time management, that helps a lot because your PhD can be very hectic. Well, I'm working on developing point of care diagnostic devices for um, blood coagulation, so blood clots. So one of the most exciting things about um, my research is actually working with the patient samples. I really enjoy that part. When you're working in science, sometimes your research can be based very far away from people and what it can do for society but I find once you're actually using a patient sample it brings you back to the people and the point of your research.